Hi, welcome to my video today. This is Waidaka, a trained technical trainer with uh, over 10 years of experience in training. Today I'll be showing you 12 most important commands when drafting using Archicad 19 software. Therefore, welcome and let us begin. So to start with, we'll start with drag command. And this is a command that is used when you want to drag an item from one position to the other. We will use this example. It's, it's just a simple room and we want to demonstrate a number of uh, these commands and see how we execute them in Archicad. So the first one is to drag. For us to be able to drag an item or an object in Archicad, we'll basically be moving that object from the current position to a new position without maintaining a copy of the same object. We can do this uh, by use of uh, a shortcut and the shortcut for dragging an object from one position to the other is uh, control D. So you press control key in your, in your keyboard then you add D and then release and then you click on the item and drag it to a new position. Alternatively, we can use the wrong method where you select the object or the item that you want to drag. Assuming that we want to drag this wall, so we select that wall and then we right click on an empty space. We choose move, then we click on the command drag. Therefore, once you've entered the command, you click on the object you want to drag, for this case is the wall, then you displace it to a distance and then if you want to drag it to a distance say 2000 millimeters, then from your keyboard you press shift R to, uh, to activate the distance parameter and then we type 2000 millimeters and then enter that will drag that wall from the current position to a new position at a distance of 2000 millimeters. The next command is to rotate. Rotating is uh, when you want to change the orientation of an object from uh, the current orientation to a new orientation. And for us to be able to rotate, we'll select the item that we require to rotate. Assuming we want to rotate that couch, then we can do this by two methods again. There is a shortcut for rotating, that is Control E. Remember rotating, we rotate and we not maintain a copy of the original object. So we rotate it to a new uh, orientation. So we select the object, we can do this command by either using the shortcut that is control E from the keyboard or we can use the wrong method like select the object then you right click on an empty space go to move and then you pick the rotate command you can see from here it is control E then you click on rotate then once you've picked the command you, you click on the object and then spread your cursor a little bit and then hold your shift to maintain it in that direction in the horizontal direction then you click again and then you rotate it to the direction you want that seat to be oriented to assuming you want it to to be oriented at an angle of uh, 90 degrees clockwise so we will just rotate it then holding our shift shift down to ensure that it is at an angle of 90 then we click and that object will be rotated at an angle of 90 degrees then the other command is to mirror mirror mirroring is when you want to change the direction of an object from one orientation to the other without maintaining a copy again what we need to do is to select the object assuming we want also to mirror that seat to face um, in, in the opposite direction then 
Once we select the object, we can still use the shortcut for mirror, which is Control M, or we can use the wrong method, where we select the object, right click on an empty space, then we go to move, and then select mirror, which we can also see it's Control M from our keyboard. We click, we pick that parameter, then we'll uh, click on uh, the object that we want to mirror, or a particular point and then we spread our cursor you can hold shift to, to, to mirror in the opposite direction and we'll have mirrored that object without maintaining a copy of the same then the other command is to drag a copy now we will uh, see how we can drag and maintain a copy of the same object that we've dragged We'll do, we'll get an example. We can drag this wall. Initially we used, we dragged it to a new position without meeting a copy, 2000 millimeter. Now we want to drag a copy of this wall to 2000 millimeters uh, so that we are able to maintain a copy of the same but create another wall of the same at a distance of 2000 millimeters. So for us to drag a copy, we will uh, either use the shortcut for dragging a copy command that is control shift d or we can use the wrong method select on the wall then you go to move then drag a copy which is control shift d then once we pick the command we click on the wall then we displace it and then we, from our keyboard we select shift r so that it activates the dimension command then we type 2000 and we'll have dragged a copy of this wall to a distance of 2000 millimeters and created another copy then the other command is to rotate a copy for us to be able to rotate a copy we will uh, give an example of uh, this couch we want to rotate a copy of it in the opposite direction that is at 90 degrees so therefore we will use the command for rotating a copy that is control shift e or alternatively that is the shortcut or alternatively we go the wrong method go select the object and we go right click on an empty space then move and then rotate a copy control shift e click on that command then we click on the object hold shift to straighten it in the horizontal direction then click and then rotate it in the direction you want it to this time 90 degrees hold your shift down and then click again and that object will be rotated at an angle of 90 degrees we've rotated it we have rotated a copy of it and we've maintained the original copy. The next command is to mirror a copy. So we want to mirror a copy of this couch and maintain the original copy. The command for mirror a copy is Control Shift M or alternatively we can use the wrong method. Again we select the object, right click on an empty space select move and then mirror a copy control shift m we select that command again we click on an empty space and then we spread our cursor horizontally we hold our shift key and then click and we have rotate we have mirrored a copy of the original one in the opposite direction the other command is uh, entering dimension. So for us to enter dimension, we'll demonstrate using a wall. So we'll select the wall. Of course, we'll use it with a combination of other commands, like drag a copy. Drag a copy is Control shift d So we pick the command for drag a copy. Then we drag it. Press on our keyboard, shift R, and then notice that uh, the distance 
uh, command is active and now we can enter the required dimension you can talk of 3200 3200 and then enter once you type the dimension then you press enter key on your keyboard to ensure that the dimension is uh, entered Then the other, the other command that is quite important for us in Nakicad is uh, trim, how to use trim tool. Trim tool is uh, indicated in our shortcut bar and uh, for us to be able to use the trim tool we will uh, click on that trim tool and then using a uh, control key on our keyboard we will uh, hold it down and hover over the wall that we want to, to trim and then we can cut can cut the walls that we want to trim we can cut all the walls that we want to trim then the other tool that we want to to see how it works is adjust tool adjust tool so for us to use adjust uh, assuming we want to adjust the distance of uh, of this wall the extension of this wall so we will select that wall then we will uh, click on adjust and then we will click on the position where we want to adjust this wall up to assuming we want that wall to stretch up to that point so we will click on that position then stretch our cursor and then click it will be adjusted to that new length then the other one is uh, intersect assuming we want to intersect these walls at this corner then uh, we will select the two walls that we want to intersect and then we will choose that tool for intersecting and it will intersect at that particular point then the other tool we want to see how it works is uh, what we call the pick parameter tool together with the inject parameter tool from uh, our sample here we will see that this window if you are to select it it has different settings from this other window we can remove this couch for us to be able to to see the two windows if you these two windows have different different parameters but now we want to change this window to acquire the parameters of this window so what we will do is uh, we will uh, use pick up parameter tool we'll click that tool and then we'll come and click on the window that we want to to use the parameters for once we pick those parameters so we will uh, then hold uh, control and alt to change our cursor to inject parameter tool and then click on the other window that we want to change the parameters when we click on that window it now picks the parameter of the first window so those are the 12 most important commands that we wanted to look at today thank you for staying tuned Thank you for being with me and I hope this uh, improves our skills in Akikad. Thank you and watch out for the next video.